And for the next fight, we have Chase the Dream Hooper coming at 10 and 1, taking on Steven Ocho Peterson, 18 and 9. Uh, for Chase, um, Ben Askren's son, Chase Hooper, looking to, to continue his rise in the UFC with his uh, lone loss coming against Bruce Leroy, who's a tough out for anybody. Uh, Ho Hooper is a, a very good grappler. Um, his stand-up is, is basically non-existent. Uh, but even if Hooper does get Peterson to the ground, um, he, he's not an easy guy to finish. Uh, but uh, Chase is an extremely tough kid. Uh, he will have to be on his, on his A game here to get the win, I feel. Um, on the other side for uh, for Peterson, um, Peterson is most notably known for his, his war with Benito Lopez um, that that didn't that didn't go in his favor. Um, he he was back in the cage a few months later, taking on uh, Brandon Davis and in, in what was a, a fight of the night performance. Uh, Peterson does possess a strong wrestling, a, a good gas tank. He pressures forward all the time, although um, he he does get hit with a ton of shots. The question is is does Hooper have the the power? Uh, to put him away or to get him on the ground uh, to long enough to get the finish. Um, this is a this is a toss up fight, um, in my opinion, um, and it could go either way. Uh, for for Chase though, he he is um, you know a, a tad bigger here um, as far as the height. He's C six one, but the reach is where he really has the advantage at seventy five and a half inch reach uh, to Peterson, who's five ten with a seventy inch reach. Um, but uh, for um, you know, for Chase, out of his 10 wins, uh, three of them are uh, by knockout, five by submission. And we know what he's trying to do. He's trying to he's trying to get this to the floor. So um, this should be a good one. What do you got? Yeah, so breaking down Peterson's last fights, uh, like you mentioned, that Brandon Davis fight was fight of the night. He got busted up on that one, man. He, he, was, he was getting brutalized in that one. He did not come out uh, good on the other end of that one. He did uh, manage to win a split decision against Matt Bissett after that. And that was back in 2018. On the Ultimate Fighter finale, uh, but get, uh, again, that was a split decision. Another judge thought Matt won. Um, so you know, uh, going into that, the fight after those were back-to-back -back losses uh, versus Luis Pena versus and Alex Caceres. Uh, they do have a common loss, which is Bruce Leroy uh, there. So yeah, kind of the same fighter, man. Almost, almost uh, Luis Pena and uh, Alex Caceres. So shows that Peterson uh, shows Peterson has trouble with those longer guys. And uh, his his last fight, which is a win, spinning back fist knockout, which is incredible. It was incredibly timed. Martin Bravo threw a, a spinning back fist, and he countered with his own spinning back fist and got a, a brutal knockout. Um, but man, that was that was almost two years, two years ago. ago. Yeah. So that was quite a while ago. Um, he is uh, only thirty one years old, so he's not too old. Um, but the comeback on Chase, man, uh, I, I'm just kind of I'm kind of impressed with the kid. He's 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 tough for being so young. He, he's only 21 years old, and he's super talented. He's a very talented grappler. Uh, first fight I watched him win was the UFC fight uh, against uh, Tamer, and he ended up getting ground, uh, first round knockout. And Dan Tamer is known as a kickboxing striker. He's on the short side, and he ended up getting uh, you know knocked out in that one by Chase. So. It was good on Chase, and then he immediately stepped up the competition and fought Bruce Leroy, like you said, and uh, he took that L. And the fight after that was a, a win over Peter Barrett, but man, that one wasn't without his adversity. It was in the third round, a um, couple minutes left, and if he didn't pull out that heel hook out of his ass, he would have lost that fight as well. Uh, Peter Barrett took out his legs. He was basically on one leg the whole time. And Peter Barrett's not really known for a, a slick striker, you know, so kind of uh, kind of threw him uh, threw him for a loop on that one. But I was listening to Chase, and he, I guess he did go recently out and as earlier this year and get some work in with uh, Wonder Boy and whatnot. So that's a good look for him. That's definitely a good look for him. Uh, Wonder Boy's got that kind of frame like he does. He said that he did help him sure up some defense, some striking defense. So that's really good to see. I mean, really good to hear on Ch Chase's end. So. Um, with both, with that being said, with both of them, I, I'm I'm just more impressed with uh, Chase. Steve Steven can come in out here and do it, but I just uh, I believe uh, Chase has the X factor in the grappling, and he's uh, and he's more durable. I definitely think Chase is the better grappler here. Um, I do think uh, that Ocho Peterson though does have um, does have the experience on his side. And if you do look at his losses, especially recently. Um, they're two very good strikers, you know, I mean, uh, people that can strike them up, like uh, Alex Caceres, uh, Luis Pena, Benito Lopez, all them guys can strike, 
and uh, and Chase is just from from what we've seen so far, it, it, he's on the opposite end of that, and he's more grappler heavy. Um, so I mean, I, I don't think you know. I think he uh, Peterson has more trouble with those strikers. Um, but um, it, it is going to be a good fight. This the odds on this is minus one ten for Hooper, minus one twenty for Peterson. Um, so it's pretty even, and um, and that's exactly how I see it too. I mean, I think this is a toss up fight and could go either way. Um, but my pure pick, uh, I'm going to go uh, Peterson. I'm, I'm going Hooper. Okay. So yeah, I, I wouldn't put any money on this. No. Unless, unless we're doing uh Nah, I no. Nothing. It's, yeah, yeah. This is <laughs> too many fights this week. This is a tough one to call. Yeah, this, if, if you know you, you're doing some parlays and you're doing some bets, this is uh, probably one you want to stay away from, um, unless you know you feel real comfortable one way or the other. But uh, this is exactly where the odds should be because this is a toss-up fight. 